Hello, hello! Welcome back to another Project Life process video. Today I have a different camera setup, but before I talk about this, I'm showing you what I picked to use in my uh, for the spread. These were printable labels from Caitlin Schaefer. This is the stamp set that was included in the Project Life kit, and the other stickers and embellishments also came in my Project Life Coco Daisy kit. And um, yeah, I'm usually keeping all of my Project Life embellishments in these iris containers. And these labels came in a, I think it was a kit from Studio Calico. I know that, but it's, I didn't, I don't subscribe to their kits anymore. I probably bought them on sale or they came in my warehouse box. Um, and so I decided to go ahead and use them on this spread and then I give myself permission to get rid of them because I yeah I like them they are okay but they're not my favorite things to use so um, this is what I do in the beginning I take out all of my embellishments um, look at my spread and um, place everything where I think it might go the things you just saw me using were cut aparts from a printable from Coco Daisy. And yeah, now I'm going, I changed my setting a little and I'm working on every card um, by itself. And in the end, you will see the completed spread in the still shots. So I picked that stamp set from Kelly Perky. It's one of my most favorite and most used alphabet stamps that I own. Um, they work everywhere and so I'm using them here to spell out week yeah I know guess why I use love them love to use them so much because they do not include only the alphabet but they also include numbers and I realized that I have a lot of um, alphabet stamps that do not include numbers and when I use the them on my project live spreads I don't want to mix different fonts and different um, media all the time so that's why I love using these. This is my title card. It's really very um, plain and simple because it's um, decorated enough I think. There is a lot of flowers around and it says hello and now um, I'm stamping the date and usually I use the Schimmel roller date stamp but this time I'm using my Heidi Swap roller date stamp and you will see in the end I smudged a lot of ink on that title card so now I'm working on this this card is from Coco Daisy and the um, um, cloud that says keep your head in the clouds says is also from a Coco Daisy printable that I printed. I usually print my things at Staples because I don't have a printer and I, I often wait several months and then I'll just upload them and pick them up whenever I go grocery shopping. And this is, I'm building a little cluster in the top right corner of that card and the um, ticket doesn't really say anything it only has numbers on them but it's a nice grounding element for the cloud and yeah that's where I place the cloud now and I use my most go-to glues that I use is the Mo Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive and um, then I use my ATG glue, glue gun and now I'm using that stamp set that was included in the May or June kits. And then I'm, I am unfortunately lost a little bit of footage. I showed you the two cards that I worked on and these two, um, again, I used a ticket and I'm now using another flower. And then I'm going on to work on the next set of cards. This is my sons going to school and they usually, I, I never pick their clothes, they do. And it's so funny the way they dress sometimes, especially their socks. They wear these crazy neon colored socks with shorts. Yeah, and that's just very funny, um, especially when you have all three of them together. And now I'm um, adding that ticket and adding that red label on top of that card. And I'm using my stapler to staple it down. And then I'm always um, 
adding a little bit of washi tape to the back of the staple so that it will not um, um, hurt any other cards that are when I slide them into the page protector. I just like um, doing that for safety reasons for my lovely cards. And now I'm, yeah, I'm journaling in that tag. I'm adding that hashtag that I usually use for Instagram. And then I'm adding a little journaling there where I say that my kids have crazy sock day every day. And then I'm working on the bottom left card. It's a four by six slot and I'm going to tape my two three by four cards together using washi tape. And that is the photo of the front of the museum that we went to on a field trip with my son's third grade. And I'm adding that the tiny word stickers and I, spelling out the word field trip then I'm using that I don't know if I'm going to use that right now but it's I'm going to use a puffy sticker from Pink Fresh Studio to point towards the museum and then I'm going to journal about that field trip later on yeah I'm going to journal first and then I'm going to add the sticker and I think I hope no I didn't cut uh, my journaling out there but that's usually what makes these videos so long so um, I'm going to try and cut the journaling parts out and that will make these videos a lot shorter yeah now I'm looking for something and yeah I'm using that embellishment that um, arrow and then that card is finished. The card is from Studio Calico and it says stay passionately curious and I thought it fit. And now I'm going to repeat that process of making two 3x4 cards, one 4x6 card and that um, card says coffee and books, uh, bliss. And yeah, actually I'm not reading reading any books and I'm not drinking coffee but it worked perfectly for this uh, thing because for this photo because I went after the field trip I went to the cafe and had lunch all by myself and I usually never do that and so it was a very rare treat for myself. Now I'm working on the right side of my spread is it's the, the top left card and I'm cutting down the photo of my two young ones that got their hair cut and um, adding that ticket. It reads needing. So they were really in need of a haircut. And so we went to the barber shop and got their haircut. And I usually like to take a photo afterwards because it's such a rare treat for my sons. They usually look like tiny wild grizzly bears, but this time they had a nice haircut. And I'm adding, um, on that ticket I'm spelling a haircut, and then I'm ad adding that uh, phrase sticker that says, and then. So the whole ticket reads needing a haircut and then because that day my sons overheard another kid asking for a mohawk at the barbershop and then they had this great idea that they could have one too so they did now again making a four by six card with my washi tape and yeah, I'm using a filler card. I never really get to use filler cards because I usually journal so much that I don't have space for them. And I'm adding journaling on top of that photo. Yeah, I didn't don't really like it. It's I'm a very clean and straight girl and everything was very vertical and then I added that di diagonal journaling. Um didn't really like it. So now next thing I'm working on these two 3x4 cards and I'm 
just adding lines so that the journaling is a little bit more spaced out and I added this sticker that said it was a Friday and I'm actually leaving that um, photo totally plain. Now I'm adding, working on the next set of two photos, no not two photos, one photo, one card and I'm stamping with that stamp set that I already used for the title card, I'm stamping out the word boys because the ticket reads lucky so it's lucky boys because their bus driver gave them each each of them a nice bag of full of treats at the end of the school year to get them through the summer and I we all thought that was such a nice um, thing of her to do for the kids and so I had to take a picture and had to journal about it and since I added lines on that one card, I didn't want to have this uh, one thing, so I added another lines. Now I'm adding my photo onto the 4x6 card and I'm leaving a little space to the right because I am, I don't know, I didn't want to have the photo on the one side and the journaling card on the right side, left side. Um, I think it makes it more like a little teeny tiny layout and so yeah adding that tag that reads hello hello it's a ticket um, underneath my label and my photo and then I'm adding that large label on top and tying that all together by overlapping everything and then I'm journaling that this is one of the last days that I have to pick up my sons from school because my son, my youngest, will then not be a kindergartner anymore and I do not have to pick him up from the school bus. I can if I want, but I don't have to be there for him to get off the bus. Yeah, now on to the last card of that spread. This is a photo of my son playing catch with, with one of his coaches. He um yeah I was a little afraid of that particular coach and on one of the last games he had to um warm up with him and afterwards I asked him if he was such um if there was any reason to be afraid and he um said no he said he's actually he's a nice guy and um that's why this photo is not very good it's just to help reinforce the story and I um, yeah, trying to make that work and look good and so um, that photo didn't stand out enough for my liking so I backed it with white cardstock and then um, I'm auditioning a lot of different embellishments and things but then I go back to the yeah I'm thinking about using that uh, awesome a sticker um, but still I put it aside because I couldn't make it work right now so then I'm going back to that stamp set from Kelly Porky because uh, I have that um, coffee and books card in there and then I have another one with a um, with huge alphabet print in there that you make me happy card that I used before and so it actually works out pretty well um, to add one more stamped card in there. So I'm now still thinking about embellishments and I'm adding that right here, right where, it, where you can see it. And then I'm adding that um, awesome puffy sticker to the bottom left. And now I'm pulling out uh, my cards and add another puffy sticker. And I'm showing you all of my cards one more time. This is what I was talking about. And I'm adding some word stickers and puffy stickers wherever I think I need some more embellishments. Yeah, now I'm done. And I was contemplating adding something to the title card, but I'm not. And you can see in the still photo, I somehow smudged a lot of black ink on my title card, but that was my 
process video for week 22. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and come back next Saturday for another installment of Project Life 2016. See you then. Bye!